This presentation is designed to show you how to use Screencast-O-Matic for this class. The first thing you're going to have to do, if this is the software you choose to use, is you're going to have to type Screencast-O-Matic into your browser. When you type it in, a page will appear for Screencast-O-Matic, and it's going to ask you to create an account. I already have an account, so when I open Screencast-O-Matic, this is what I see. Once you create your account, this screen will appear, and the first time you use Screencast-O-Matic, you have to click on down Download or Install. After the first time of using it, you no longer have to download. You just hit click, you click on Start Recorder. After you do this, after your account is set up and you're ready and you click on Start Recorder, what will happen is that this page will appear. My computer shows open link. Your computer may show OK. You need to either click on OK or open link. And what that does is it launches the recorder on your computer. Once you click open link, the screen should switch to looking to something like this. Your recorder will record anything that appears in the frame. So it shows you exactly what will happen in your recording by showing you the frame. If your slides are too big, you might have to make them smaller. If they're too small, you might need to make them bigger. So the first thing you're going to do on this page is look at these three options. One option is to show your computer screen only. The second option is to record with a webcam only. And the third is to use both. For your class, almost everything I do is just sharing my screen. If you want to do both, then your webcam will photograph you speaking while your slides are on the screen. If you would prefer to not have your face on the screen, then you click on screen only, and then the only thing that will record is what's on your screen. So once you see all of this, you need to make sure you have your PowerPoint presentation open with the first page of the PowerPoint up on the screen. The reason you do that is once you click on record, this will automatically open to your computer screen. So in this class, you're either going to click on screen or both. It's up to you which one you want to use. Your max time down here will appear because you're using a free product. You are limited in the number of minutes that you can record a presentation. Also, because you will be using a free product, you will see Screencast-O-Matic's name on every slide you present. And that is okay because I'm not expecting you to buy anything. I want you to use the free product. So on your screen, you will have a maximum amount of time showing that you can record, and you will see Screencast-O-Matic's name and emblem on all of your slides. Once you are ready to record, you come down here and you click on the record button. When you click on this record button, you should see numbers appear that say three, two, one, go. And that is your countdown to begin your presentation. When you see the word go, what should happen is the recorder should automatically open to your PowerPoint slideshow. If it doesn't, all you have to do is click on the PowerPoint to open it. But that's why you should already have it open to the first page of your slides. Also down in the bottom left-hand corner, you're going to see a clock ticking away seconds and minutes, showing you how much time you've spent recording. Because you have a limited amount of time on this product, and you also have a limited amount of time for the presentation as guided by the syllabus, it's important that you practice and you pay attention to this um, Time, time down here in the left hand corner. I highly recommend you practice using this a couple of times before your project is due because it's hard to get used to sometimes and if you're going to make mistakes it's nice to make them when you're practicing. Once you're done recording there's a stop button that will appear down here on your screen. You click the stop button and then it tells you how to upload it. You can either upload it into Screencast-O-Matic, or you can upload it into your cloud or your computer, wherever you would like. 
It's going to upload as an MP4, which means it is recording sound, your voice, and the screen of your computer, which will be your presentation. I save mine into Dropbox, which is a cloud. Once you have that done and it's uploaded fully, it will tell you when it's fully uploaded, you can change the name of it, whatever, you should change the name to match your presentation. And then you will be able to upload that into Blackboard. And that will be a different presentation than this one. So once again, you're going to use Screencast-O-Matic, perhaps. However, the end result has to be one of two things. Your presentation and recording must either be compatible with Microsoft Word, which means you can use PowerPoint, and PowerPoint allows you to record voice on that. You would have to Google how to do that, but if you want to use PowerPoint and you want to record your voice into the PowerPoint slide presentation, you can. Another option that I have here is Screencast-O-Matic. It is free. That is the second option, and that is to create an MP4 presentation. So you're either going to create something like a PowerPoint that's compatible with, it, with Microsoft Office and that has sound and um, your slide presentation both, or you're going to use a software product like Screencast-O-Matic and create an MP4 presentation of sound, which is your voice, and your slides. If you have a different product that you want to use that is either compatible with Microsoft Office or we'll, uh, we'll make an MP4 recording, I am fine with that. But it has to be one of those two formats that everyone in the class can review it. I look forward to your questions about how to use this. I encourage you to um, play with it, make a couple recordings before you actually make your real recording, play around with the software prior to the due date so you know what you're doing and how to use it, and then finally, when it's time to uh, upload it, I look forward to seeing all of your presentations. So thanks for watching this presentation on how to make an MP4 or how to record voice with your presentation on slides. Again, I look forward to seeing your presentations in a couple weeks.